coronavirus in children. Are children immune from COVID-19? Children may become infected with the new coronavirus, also known as SARS-CoV-2, and suffer COVID-19 symptoms. They do appear to be less susceptible to infection than adults. However, their symptoms are usually milder. More data are needed to understand coronavirus in children adequately. Children play a role in the transmission of the virus. However, earlier indications suggest less transmission from children than from adults. Today, we shall discuss whether it is safe to send children to school as governments around the world uh, plan to open schools. But first, let's answer the question, are children immune to coronavirus? My name is Dr. Roberts and in this channel we bring the latest research on healthcare, epidemiology and we also provide tips to students on how to attain all expense paid study scholarships. If you're new here, subscribe, click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new videos, uh, like, comment and share with your friends and network. And the question we may ask is, are kids immune to coronavirus? Well, infection with COVID-19 has been reported across all age groups, including infants, children, and young adults. Nevertheless, studies consistently show that children under the age of 18 make up only about 2% of the total worldwide cases. One explanation for those low numbers in children are that children are less likely to be tested because they often experience milder symptoms than adults. We shall look at this aspect later in the video. However, data from countries that have carried out widespread community testing for the virus suggests that in the first place, children may also be less likely to get infected. For example, in South Korea, children under nine years of age accounted for only one percent of laboratory confirmed uh, COVID-19 cases while children between 10 and 19 years of age accounted for 5.2 percent of cases. In Iceland studies found that young children were less likely to test positive for COVID-19 than adolescents or adults and no cases of random population screening were found in under found in children under the age of 10. Similarly no cases were found among among 374 children under the age of 10 uh, tested for the virus in an Italian study where 2.4 percent of people of all ages were found to be infected. Studies that have traced the contacts of infected people in Guangzhou and Wuhan province in Shanghai, China and in Japan also suggested that children are less likely than adults to test positive for the virus following exposure to an infected person. Although one study from uh, Shenzhen, uh, China suggested that they were equally susceptible uh, to the infection. Among the first 150,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the United States, only 1.5 7% occurred in children under 18 years old, whereas children make up 22% of the whole population COVID-19 symptoms in children and young uh, people. So what are the symptoms of COVID-19 in children and young people? Symptoms of children vary slightly from those seen in adults and tend to be milder. Cough or fever is observed in only about a half of symptomatic children, less frequently than in adults. In contrast, upper respiratory symptoms such as runny nose or sore throat occur in 30-40% and diarrhea and vomiting occurring about 10% and more often than in adults. Sometimes diarrhea or vomiting or a combination of the two is the only symptom. An analysis of confirmed or suspected cases of COVID-19 among children under the age of 18 in the province of Hubei, China found that 55.4% had mild or asymptomatic symptoms. Only 5.4% of the cases in children severe or critical compared to 18.5% in adult cases. Although severe illness and death are rare in children, they do occur. Critical illness was found to develop in 0.4% of laboratory confirmed cases in children in the Huawei study. The current reported death rate in children is 0.01% everywhere and that is equivalent to 1 in 10,000 cases, significantly lower than all estimates of adult death rates. Children suffer from inflammatory syndrome. 
but children also suffer from an inflammatory syndrome. In addition to this general picture of milder COVID-19 disease in children, there is one possible complication. In late April of 2020, the UK's Pediatric Intensive Care Society issued an urgent warning to general practitioners following a small increase in the number of critically ill children with overlapping toxic uh, shock syndrome. That is a rare complication of some bacterial infection and a typical Kasawaki disease, a disorder in which the walls of the arteries become inflamed. Symptoms include persistent fever, inflammation, and evidence of altered or Organ function. At the time of diagnosis of the multisystem inflammatory syndrome, some but not all of these children tested positively for COVID-19. Therefore, it is currently unclear whether these rare symptoms are caused by COVID-19 virus or by some other factors that is still unknown. What is the role children play in the transmission? Another question we may need to answer is what role do children have in the transmission of COVID-19? The fact that children are less likely to develop symptoms when infected with COVID-19 has raised concerns that they may be responsible for the covert or underground transmission of the virus. Although there is little direct evidence to suggest that asymptomatic children play a significant role in the spread of the disease. One study analyzing the source of 31 COVID-19 uh, household clusters in China, Singapore, South Korea, Japan, and Iran found that in just three of these cases, children were the source of the infection. The China World Health Organization Joint Commission, a panel of international experts which investigated the initial outbreak of COVID-19 in China, found by contact tracing no cases of transmission from children to adults. The earlier closure of schools combined with the apparently reduced susceptibility of children to infection may have limited transmission from children. However, the lack of coughing in milder or asymptomatic cases may reduce the transmission of the virus. Further studies are needed in order to test this idea. Although the role of children in the transmission of the virus is unclear, there is consistent evidence that children are less likely to develop an infection than adults and less likely to infect family members in the household. So what evidence-based information decision on reopening school is available. So what evidence-based information decisions are available for reopening schools? Because no country has implemented school closures as the only form of social distancing, it is difficult to distinguish their impact from other social distancing measures. One study examined the effectiveness of school closure during coronavirus outbreaks, including modeling studies of COVID-19, which predicted that school closures alone will prevent only 2 to 4 percent of deaths, much less than and other social distancing interventions as COVID-19 spread around the world. Data is starting to emerge, but it's still limited. Investigation into all documented cases of COVID-19 occurring in the Australian state of New South Wales suggested that there was little transmission within schools. Nine teachers and nine school-aged children were infected during March and April 2020, but contact tracing revealed that only two of the 735 students and 128 staff with whom whom they came into contact later developed a disease. At that time, however, school's attendance was declining rapidly and this may also have limited the spread of the disease. As schools are being reopened around the world, careful epidemiological studies of any effects of disease spread will be of value to all governments that are now considering their options of relaxing COVID-19 restrictions. From who is at higher risk to the public health policy behind stay-at-home initiatives, I am here to share the facts about the current COVID-19 pandemic. My name is Dr. Robert and in this chat we bring to you the latest public health measures and policies on COVID-19, general epidemiology, student tips for getting all expense paid scholarships and if you're new here remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video, like, comment and share with your friends and network.